What's going on you guys? Welcome to day three of this zero to 10K case study. This is the day where we start marketing. So first we're gonna get our YouTube channel art set up. We're gonna get our Facebook uh, fan page art set up. Hopefully we might have to order an extra banner for that or we just might use uh, a picture that we've got. Regardless, we're gonna get all this set up and then we're gonna make our first post on Facebook. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here, we're gonna go to uh, YouTube Studio Beta, and then we're gonna go to the My Channel section, and we're gonna go to My Channel, and then we're gonna go to Customize Channel, and then we're going to change the cover here. And what I did is I went over here to Fiverr. The order's all done. It should be done for you by now as well. I went ahead and downloaded this. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to upload that right here. So we're gonna edit channel art, select photo from the computer. Should be in the download section somewhere here. If we scroll down, let's go ahead and let's sort by date added. And it should be right here. We're gonna select open. And it is ready to go, check it out. So we'll go ahead and select this. And just by looking at this, I can already tell it's gonna be different than the Facebook cover photo. So we'll probably just end up using a kind of a, a wider picture of, our, picture of ourself. So what we're gonna do next, now that this is all set up, is we're gonna to go to the About section. We're gonna add links, and then we're going to select Add right here, and I'm gonna put Contact Me on Facebook, and then we're gonna jump over here to My Pages. We're gonna select this page right here, and it should be this link at the top. We'll go ahead and we'll copy that. And then we will go over here and we will paste and select done. And boom, contact me on Facebook. We've got that so far. So we've done those first two things. The next thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and just click home. You can see this is all set up now. Looks good, right? And then we're gonna jump back over here to Facebook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to upload photo slash video. We're gonna go to desktop. And then I'm gonna to go to my professional pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and find a good landscape photo here. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can find one. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom. I've got a few here. So I'm gonna select this one and see how this looks. Matches nicely. So we'll scroll down here and boom, we'll, we'll go ahead and go with that for now. Go ahead and select save. And again, if you guys don't have any professional pictures, I would urge you to get some done. You can even have a family member, you know, take some pictures for you. As long as you got a smartphone, most smartphones these days have a pretty good camera on them. Okay, now that we've got that done, what we wanna do next is we wanna create our first post. We wanna create a little bit of awareness so what we're gonna do is we are going to find this pre-made post that I made today while I was at Starbucks. So we'll go ahead and bring that up here. And we're gonna talk about, sort of about the psychology behind what we're doing here. What we wanna do with the first post is we want to create relatability. Right? We wanna find common ground. If there was one buzzword for this first post is we want to find common ground. So we want people to see our post. We want them to psychologically say, yes, this is what I believe. Yes, I've been there. Yes, I believe what you believe. That's all we want to do is we want to begin the bond building process by finding once again, common ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and I'm going to run through it. We're gonna proofread it a little bit. You're gonna find out exactly why I structured it the way that I did. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. I'm gonna paste it here, and this is gonna be available below. What I would you know, encourage you to do is really make this your own. Some of the things that I stand for, you might stand for, and vice versa. So you can sort of model what works for you. Um, this whole post for me is all about finding people that relate with the message. So overall, who are we marketing to? We're marketing to people that have a nine to five job. We're marketing to these specific avatars, stay at home moms, uh, people that are overworked, underpaid, even the people that are overworked and get paid well but have no time freedom with the people that they love. And so what we wanna do is we wanna create relatability within this post. And you don't have to be as ambiguous as I'm being right here because like whenever I write, I think of all the people that I could be talking to in my head. These different you know, people in these different holes, so to speak, like these different slots. So like you've got people that are millennials over here. What are the problems they deal with? We've got people that are uh, stay-at-home moms. What do they deal with? we got people that are in the corporate world. What do they deal with? And so I want to create sort of a, a broad message that can reach all these different people. Now, you can also go very targeted too as well. If you want to just talk to the people that are overworked, underpaid, that work the 60 to 85 hours a week, that work in a cubicle, that absolutely hate it, you could speak to those people. Because what we're promoting here is we're promoting freedom. That's really what we're promoting at the end of the day. So people don't want the drill. They want the hole that the drill is going to give them, right? And so we want to cut straight to the point and give them the hole. We don't need to talk about any products. This is where a lot of people fail. They go very surface level. You know, people don't want just to lose weight. They want the feeling that goes along with losing weight. So talking about the feeling is, is what's going to make the difference when it comes to writing Facebook posts, creating YouTube videos, so on and so forth, right? And so in this case, what I'm doing is I'm talking about the end result that people want. So what I'm doing at the very first is I'm kicking them in the bruised knee, right? They've already got this bruised knee and I'm kicking it, kicking it, kicking it. And I'm trying to get in their head and find common ground and you know help them relate with this copy here. And so the whole purpose of this post is kind of an entryway to you know, getting closer to, it's kind of a pre-frame to promoting whatever products that I want to promote. So the big umbrella here is we're promoting freedom. And so because we want to speak a vision to people about freedom, then we can give them a product that's going to help them attain that. But we're not, we're just on the first date here, right? We're not ready to just go out and start you know, promoting our products, talking about our products. We do not want to do that yet. What we're doing, once again, I know we keep saying this, but we're creating re relatability. We're finding common ground, okay? So what I did in the very first year, I said, do you believe that life is all about working a nine-to-five job just to make it safely to death? Okay, so, you know, I'm basically calling out my market, is this you? Do you believe that it's all about working a nine to five? If you do, this post is not for you. So what I'm doing is I'm attracting the people that I want with the copy, with the message, and then I'm deflecting the people that I don't want. So it's to spend a large percentage of your days working with people you don't even like and care less about you, to leave dreams unfulfilled, to wonder what if? What if I would have started that business? What if I would have stepped out of my comfort zone? They say that one of the worst parts about a funeral isn't just the death of the individual itself, but the dreams that were never materialized. So you guys see how I'm breaking up my paragraphs here? Contrary to what you've learned in English class, right? This is all about when it comes to copywriting and selling with words, it's all about writing how you talk. And that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I put to wonder what if dot, dot, dot. What if I would have started that business? What if I would have stepped outside of my comfort zone? 
right? And, and then, of course, we stopped right here. And then I go on to say, the more I live, the more I realize how short life really is. The more I learn about other people, the more I see that they are chasing this elusive promotion or badge of honor that if achieved would leave them feeling empty inside instead of fulfilled. It's not the one event that makes us happy, but the small moments in between. And if we are not enjoying these small moments in between, aka the journey, then why the hell are we doing it anyway? We've been con folks, the mansion, the Lamborghini, the bling, the clothes, the golden watch after 50 years of service, working your way to the top of a company. So I'm illustrating my why. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Why, why do you guys want to make money online? Is it because of these reasons? Is it because you know that there's a dead end in, at the end of your life if you work a nine to five job or that there's a dead end right now because you, you predictably know what's going to happen for the next 40 to 60 years of your life? It's those things that we want to bring to the forefront of our mind. It's, tho- it's those reasons Really get in touch with why you believe that building an online business is the way to freedom. And so what I'm doing is I'm illustrating the problem, exactly what I was thinking before I started my online business. And then how I realized my online business, how I found it. So I go on to say, although these events and material possessions are cool, they don't give you the fulfillment that you'd expect. It's kind of like climbing to the top of a mountain in pure fog just to finally get to the top and see the whole world in ruins. As I've grown, I've realized how many problems there are with the current system as we know it. To put it bluntly, I will fix that here. And again, it's not going to be perfect the first time you write, you guys. If you're newer to this, that's fine. It's going to take a little bit of work. It's going to take progress. So to put it bluntly, it's outdated and needs new software. It was initially created for factory workers in the early 1900s. Truthfully, a large percentage of what you learn in school can't be applied to the real world. This is a way to keep you from being in control, from learning real skills in your life, and to drown you in hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. And to add to it, most of what you hear on the news is a crock of BS, to waste your time and blind you from what's really going on. The good news is, Thanks to outlets like Google, YouTube, and Netflix, more people are realizing these truths and breaking away from the status quo to pave their own paths. So without telling people like exactly what I'm doing, right? Without telling them the cliche of here's the problem and then I found this, I'm speaking more in like third person. Like I'm speaking as a reporter versus from my my own voice. So when you borrow somebody else's voice, it doesn't sound like it's biased, like there's some hidden agenda, right? So that's what I'm trying to accomplish right here. So the good news is, thanks to outlets like Google, YouTube, and Netflix, more people are realizing these truths and breaking away from the status quo to pave their own paths. More and more people are using the new digital economy to build wealth. You've got kids and teenagers becoming millionaires with YouTube. Stay-at-home mom starting and growing online consulting businesses. No longer do you need to rely on making it on TV to become well-known. No longer do you need to be a Kardashian. It's the first time you could be an introvert and attract a community of other introverts that will follow you and even buy what you have to offer. This is the awakening age, and I'm here to help more people realize the power they have at their fingertips, that they can break away from the norm only if they want. If they don't, that's fine too. We will always need people willing to be the server, waitress, or the mechanic. I wouldn't judge them either way. This message is all about going for what you truly want in life. If you're already living it, congratulations. But if you believe you were meant for more, you are. That's it for now. I hope you resonated with this message. If you did, let me know by commenting below and follow this page for more tips and advice on how to build a life and business you never want to escape from. I hope to bring more awareness out there to what's possible. Hopefully I didn't end that too soon. This message is all about giving what, this message is all about going for what you truly want in life. If you're already living it, congratulations. But if you believe you're meant for more, you are. That's it for now. Hope you resonated with this message. Okay, that's that's fine. We can stop there. 
So what we can actually do is we can take this whole entire copy, go ahead and copy this whole thing, and you can use what's called the Hemingway app, okay? Hemingway app. I'm just gonna type it into Google here. And it's the first result, HemingwayApp.com. That's how you spell it, one M, not two. And what we can do is the Hemingway app makes your writing bold and clear. So you see how it's broken up right here? And you can see like right here, it says one out of 11 sentences is very hard to read. So like this needs to be broken up, okay? Um, maybe it needs to be broken up a little bit more. See how I break it up right there? Now you shouldn't break it up after a comma, but you kind of get the idea. You want it to be easier to read and you want it to be clearer to read. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this. I'm gonna paste this, okay? And it looks like it just pasted everything at once, which is fine. So I got a grade three, which is good on the readability scale. And I could go through this, like this is in purple, replace or omit. It's not, it's not the one event that makes you happy, but the small moments that do. See? So it says one phrase has a simpler alternative. So I just, sometimes it's saying more with less, right? So sometimes you can just, you can erase part of a full sentence and essentially say the same thing because a lot of your words tend to be filler words. So we've been conned, folks. So I can change this to we're conned, folks. You see? So it's more clear. It says I'm using a passive voice. Three of 52 sentences are hard to read. So all those, these events and material possessions are cool. I can go, for some reason I like using the dot, dot, dot. So I can break everything up. So it's easier to read. So yeah, I could go through here and I can make more changes, break this up a little bit if I want to, but you guys get the idea. That's a little tool that you can use. But we're gonna use that post. What we wanna do right now is we just wanna create awareness. We want people to kind of get to know who we are, get to know what we represent, because people buy visions, people don't buy products. I want you to write that down. People buy a vision. They don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it, okay? So if we can find common ground, we can find relatability, we can find the same interests, then people will start to follow us and then we can still kind of build that relationship more and more and then eventually make offers. So that's the long-term goal. So I would modify this as you wish, okay? Um, so what I did is I started off with kicking them in the bruised knee. And then the transition, basically essentially what took place that allowed people to step outside of this nine to five norm and have success. And then I just essentially closed with saying, hey, if you relate with this, let me know, okay? So you'll follow that same exact format. You can use parts of this if you wish. I would encourage you to write your own version of this, okay, model it. Don't go through this copying me because now you're realizing that marketing requires more creativity than anything. You're, you'll notice that I haven't like copy and pasted somebody else's work. This is all came from my brain. The reason people are gonna follow you is because of your uniqueness. And if you're doing everything like everybody else, you're, you're, you're gonna lose, right? So what I'm gonna do on the bottom here is I'm gonna go to photo, video and I'm going to upload a photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one here. Then filling activity. Let's say we're feeling inspired. Boom. And let's go ahead and let's publish it. Why not, right? And we are good to go. So that is what we wanna do first, you guys. Finish up your YouTube channel art, um, add your Facebook link to your YouTube channel, and then add a cover photo to Facebook, and then make your first post. And you can use the Hemingway app and follow this format that I showed you. You can check out the post below 
um, and you can sort of model exactly what I did here. So I hope you enjoyed this third teaser video. If you want access to this whole entire process in complete detail, feel free to click the first link in the description below. It'll take you to my messenger page where we'll have a little private conversation, a little interview to see if you're a good fit for this program. I want people to partner with me that are serious about building a business with affiliate marketing. So you can go ahead and do that there. Regardless, I hope you got value from this video. Go ahead, like this video, comment below. What was your biggest takeaway? And don't forget to subscribe and tick that bell icon. You must tick that bell icon if you wanna be notified of all future videos that I upload when I upload them. With that said, we'll talk to you soon and have a great day.